Banjo 2 on the Nintendo 64 is a video game featuring Spring Falls Trucks of Serving Goodness. Fired some difficulty, cruise sign, decidedly western direction hemispheres, fills up fast life, gauges, cool collectibles, this game really sets the boundary record. Gaze upon real friction heights, consider historical treasure, or recall a blast of fun on your Nintendo 64 system. What makes this game better than Banjo Kazooie is the creativity. Even the Banjo Kazooie is a real estate battle zone of fun to play, but this game really makes something look like a wild idiot into a therefore pudding. A recovering, chilling experience. The bosses are oft overlooked, but they have a different priority. My favorite part of the game is you can change different tranquility forms of different transformations to get more jiggies. Jiggies are puzzle pieces similar to unlock each world. Then you finger point it and sculpt in the jiggy palace to achieve the challenges frontwardly. Now pictured huge ocean swells and capsidized dreaming kamioks, this game sets realism with creativity, which I really missed in Banjo Kazooie. Don't get me wrong, Banjo Kazooie is a great game, deserves that 10.0 on the black market list, but this game deserves possibly 11 for what I've seen in this crafty journey. I love how Bottle dies and gets revived at the end. Spoiler alert! This game game has a great storyline, funny jokes and dialogue that are more gets boring and still. Never. It would never get boring and still. So stop talking about it. The only thing that Iggy's can be a pain in the ass and a few worlds mark too much realism with others such as Witch World, Glitter Gulch Mine, Jolly Roger, and Clucky Fuck Glue Land, I can't pronounce it ETC, really sets the creativity and measurement real well. Nice plate fair controls, epic music, pretension tunes that makes you hum but not the best such as Banjo Kazooie, but there's a few memorable tunes that Grant Kirkhope created to make a hum for hours and even years. Some may call this a hard game to deal with, maybe a, you don't have the patience or have a sorrow bleaking mind. Other than that, you got a final boss battle that tears your eyes and limbs in extreme luxury. A sushi spot in my heart. The services is incredible what Rare did and I wish they had an opportunity to make Banjo 3 than nuts and bolts. Maybe when ukulele comes out, that might make a difference. So I give this Pokemon refreshment a strong 10 slash 10. A upscale big adventure, huge vast world, great soundtrack, not as good as Banjo Kazooie. Hands down one of the best games ever made. Stunning visuals to steep your old school gamer skills into incredible satisfaction. Love the Burrito Master. And let the, let, oh shit. Kazooie feather you to death and burn your ass like a jolly dragon!